Hi, I'm Claudia, and this is a brief overview of excessive weight gain and its relation to gut microbiota and antibiotics use in the pediatrics population. All right, let's get started. Gut microbiota refers to the community of microorganisms that live in our intestinal tract. As we follow this tract from the stomach to the colon, the number and diversity of microbes increases. In total, there are approximately 100 trillion microbial cells and 1,000 microbial species in our gut. This amounts to 3 to 4 pounds of microbes. And every single one has a job to do, like fermenting food, making vitamins, and fighting against disease. There are more than 8 million microbial genes in our gut, and it should come as to no surprise that they influence our own body's 23,000 genes that basically control who we are. Over the years, studies have demonstrated that there is a relationship between one's gut microbiota and numerous health issues, one of which is obesity. In 2013, a study published in Science was one of the first to suggest that gut microbiota might play a role in obesity. The researchers injected fecal microbes from adult twins with different body weights into germ-free mice. It was found that the mice that received microbes from the obese twin developed more body fat and a less diverse microbiome than the mice receiving bacteria from the lean twin. Interestingly enough, when these mice started living together, the ones injected with microbes from the obese twin tended to stay lean. It is theorized that the reason for this is because mice tend to eat each other's feces, and as we know, feces are loaded with bacteria from the intestinal lumen, so the bacteria associated with being lean were transferred to the mice housed in the same cage and had a protective effect against gaining excess body weight. The same study showed that diet helped shape the microbiome. When the researchers fed the mice with a more westernized mouse chow, low in fruit and vegetables, and high in saturated fat, the mice with the obese type microbes became overweight even though they were in the same cage as the lean mice. The less healthy diet somehow prevented the so-called lean bacteria from joining the community of microbes that was initially injected into the mice. Of course, the study was done in mice, but other studies have demonstrated that the gut microbiome of obese humans has different types and diversity of microbes than that of lean humans, it's even been shown that when individuals lose weight, their microbiome changes to one that is more similar to a lean individual. Now, you might be wondering, how do microbes influence weight gain? Studies have shown that certain microbes can actually increase the amount of energy recovered from the diet. Microbes have also been shown to change liver lipogenesis. Other studies suggest that microbes and their short-chain fatty acid metabolites can also influence the regulation of appetite and the feeling of being full through gut satiety hormones. It's even been shown that gut microbes can contribute to the systemic inflammation seen in obese individuals. Now that we know that there is a relationship between the gut microbiome and obesity, research has been looking into the use of antibiotics in children and how they might disrupt the microbiome and predispose children to gaining excess body weight. Adults have a relatively stable community of bacteria in their gut. Children, not so much, and that makes them more vulnerable to the effects of antibiotics. Now, let's take a look at some of the studies that discusses the link between antibiotics use and excessive weight gain. A longitudinal study published in the International Journal of Obesity found that infants exposed to antibiotics before the age of six months had an increased body mass. At 38 months, these children were 22% more likely to be overweight than children that were not exposed to antibiotics during that time. Researchers at the University of Helsinki discovered that children who were exposed to antibiotics before the age of two were at an increased risk of asthma and obesity. They also observed that it can take one to two years for children's gut microbiome to recover from one course of antibiotics. 
Another recent study published in the International Journal of Obesity analyzed the electronic health record of children between the ages of 3 and 18 from January 2001 to February 2012. Researchers found that at age 15, children who had taken antibiotics seven or more times weighed three pounds more than those who had not. Almost 30,000 children had received seven or more antibiotic prescriptions in the study. And although three pounds may not seem like much, the effects were demonstrated to be cumulative and could compound into adulthood. 